And ladies and gentlemen, I'm excited for this one. Old favorite of mine, very, very old, 1987. This is Zillion. I welcome you to Zillion. I'm your up here for tonight. Capital G. And this is just the game demo, it's not me playing. Uh, I just need to explain a little something before I start. And that is that I have the French ROM. French language ROM of the game. Oops. But because I speak French, what I plan on doing is loosely translating the text that comes up in the game. There's not a whole lot, just in the opening segment. And boy, this guy sucks! Getting juggled around by the guards, like... He's making the game look harder than it actually is. And then again, so did I when I was a kid. So here we go, let's go right into this. There we are. The game wasn't the active window, sorry. Objective. Steal all the data stored on these obsolete, archaic, five and a half floppy disks from the Norza Fosas here on Planet X. Gotta love the 80s. Everything was called Planet X and stored on five and a half inch floppy disks. Once you find these disks, tap into the main computer, l'ordinateur central, main computer, put in the explosion command to blow the shit out of this place. I like the sound of that. Champ and Apple are already in the base, but they got caught doing it in the washroom and got captured as a result. Dumbasses. As part of your mission, Locate and rescue your friends, and work as a team. Good luck! Come on, what's his name? Chef Guard! Chef Gordon Ramsay! No. Voir les commandes disponibles? See the available commands? Oui you know. Yes, we will. This is a way to teach everyone how to play the game. Not everyone understands how to play this game when they first play it. Especially now that you can't really find the game with the instruction booklet anymore. So, here's how this works. Computers are activated with ID cards. But you need to find the red ID card for the main computer. So it's another part of the mission, is to find the red ID card. Once you use the ID card, you do not get it back unless you use the open door command. The open door command is special because it's randomized in every room, and you need to find the four symbols located in each room to put into the computer and use the command. At that point, the ID card will be returned to you. So here are the commands that are available. Uh, the first one, the big M, is view cat, which is look at the map. It doesn't really tell you a whole lot, it tells you where you are in a grid. Um, not the most useful, but it's there. Uh, stop barrier, it stops the laser barriers. The second command stops laser barriers that will zap you if you pass through. It only works temporarily. Stop sensor. They stop the motion sensors that can be found in some rooms. Motion sensors will tip off guards let you know that you're there and will send an attack force. Um, the sensors will stop for as long as you are in the room. Okay. Stop tapis roulant. Um, there'll be floors that are moving. Uh, I'll point them out to you when we find them. That will stop them. I forget if it's temporary or not. Stop tier auto. It will temporarily stop any automatic weapons that are in the room, like automatic gun turrets, whatnot. Warp A. Um, there'll be several elevators. Several, several elevators. I gotta slow down when I talk. Several elevators in the maze. Warp A will bring you back to the elevator at the main entrance. Warp B will bring you to the nearest primary elevator. There'll be two other primary elevators that you'll be able to find in the maze. They're not, they're, they're, they're not indicated by anything special, they're just there. Explosion Base explains itself, translates very nicely, it's blow shit up. You can only put it in the main computer. 
you can also cancel the cancel explosion and your little explosion to cancel the explosion and well, basically we do that bit of the game again only in the main computer and we have a suicide command I don't know why it's there actually yes I do but it's I'll never ever use it so here we go so a little story about talk about the game story here uh, JJ Champ and Apple are part of an elite force known as the White Knights or in Japan they're called White Nuts I'm not joking And the Norse forces are, well, the series' uh, antagonists. And they want to conquer everything. Uh, that's that's a red for healing. It heals about 20 points or so. We don't need that. We're at full health, 700 points. And we have an ID card. We got that in the first bin, so... We have our little pigtail. We have a little U. Boom. You have pigtail. We have a sideways eight, and we've got the suicide thing, my Bobby, and we've got dudes. Now, why these guys came up all of a sudden? I'll show you soon. So I'm going to show you how the open 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 door command works. It was it was that one. It was that one. It was that one, and the pigtail. I actually take a note here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or zero if you prefer. Uh, what these symbols are, they're actually like, if you take the one, reflect it in a mirror and attach it, you get the M. You get that little heart shape and you reflect the two, so on and so forth. So that's what all these symbols are. But I'm calling them like M and small heart, big heart, because it's easier to remember that way. So yeah, so these were the codes that we these are the symbols that we found in those bins in the room. So just enter it in. Entre old zero, uveter, which is order zero. Open door. Praniva Pusidi Tape exit. Take your card and get out of here, son of a bitch. <laughs> Pardon the language, but that's what it roughly translates into. Yeah, so, so some doors will be like elevators that go like this, others will be Doors, doors. And yeah, shoot through walls. We have more red, which we don't need. And we have these goggle thingies, the scope. And if you look to the left, there's that yellow line that appeared as soon as we grabbed it. That's the sensor. That's what a sensor will look like. You can't see it without the scope. And as you see now, there's a yellow line over here. This is where we ran through earlier in Summon Guards. So all because you don't see it doesn't mean it ain't there. So now we're gonna run over here. And the controls are actually very good for the game. Some players might find the jumping slightly awkward, but you get used to it very quickly. Because the jumping, you have that like split second delay. I'm getting juggled here. Boom, boom, boom. Anyway, another aspect of the series are the guns, the blasters that the White Knights use. And there's a secret here I'm going to show you. The blasters are powered by an element called Zillion. So rare there's only enough to make three blasters. JJ has one, Apple has one, and Champ has one. So as you can tell, even in the future, even in the 1980s take on the future, you don't need all this bread. You really don't, and here's why. Ding! Level up! And we go to full health plus. I'll explain the leveling system in a second here. But yeah, even in the 1980s, governments took the most valuable resources possible, the rarest resources possible, and turned them into guns. So yeah, to explain the leveling system... Um, the characters actually all have stats. They can go up to level, I think, 7 or 8. I think 8. And every time you level up, uh, you'll get, uh, you go to max health. Uh, your health will improve. Uh, your jumping will improve. Your speed will improve. Uh, you can also take... It also won't show, it won't show it here, but you also take reduced damage. 
from various from various obstacles. And on that screen, you'll be able to select the other characters as you find them. Here's a dead end. You can actually shoot the wall and get a bread, but no need to do that. And up here, we've got our first laser barrier. You run through that, you take a whole bunch of damage. No need to do that, though. We've got a couple of ID cards. So let's spend one here to stop the laser barrier. But now we have to act quick. Very quick, as it's temporary. So we got our little suicide peg there. Why you... I think that's a card. Why you the peg and this thing here is the eight. The Y, the U, the eight, and the peg. Check mark. Huh? Why you the eight? There we are. I don't know why that didn't work the first time. But anyway, let's run. Not too late. I don't want to spend another card to watch this. Chomp. But it deals a lot of damage. That was 120 points of damage for that. To put in perspective, running into a guy only deals 30. Red only deals 20. And guards, usually eight of them come at a time, in twos. But yeah. Point is, those laser barriers do a lot of damage and it's worth stopping them if you have to go through them, especially if you have to go through them more than once. Missed me. That didn't miss. Ow, ow, ow. That hurt. Not too worried though. Boom. Oh, we got more bread, but we don't really need it. I'll show you why here. Boom, boom, boom. Your blaster can also be independently leveled up to level 3. The reason that's important are these, are these. Ding, 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 ding. The events have become more durable and you need a higher level gun to blast through them. So let's stop the laser. And go get those goodies. Laser barrier stop. So yeah, you'll notice that the level up symbols are Opa Opas from... Uh, Famous for the, you might have seen these before from Fantasy Zone. Uh, back in the 80s, they were a bit of a mascot for Sega. And so, and Sega had something to do with the cartoon series. This had a cartoon series, which I will tell you more about later. So I'm going to show you another, another command here. I'm going to show you the warp command, which was... This one. Warp A. Warp speed, Mr. Crusher. Warp A. Boom! This is the main elevator. We're back here. And there's another goodie here, so I'm gonna go get that. Boom! Oh, there's a lot to talk about with this game. But yeah, in summary, you can level up to level 7 and get a new ID card here. Always handy. There'll be plenty of ID cards to spare. Again, this little screen here will show you how many you have. We already have six. And we'll be collecting more as we travel through. I think our maximum is like 23 or something. Some generic number. Let's make it 23 just because it's not like 10 or 20 or 30. Uh, I'll focus more on the cartoons, the cartoon show in the next episode. I myself haven't seen it. So we got the wire, we got a little suicide thing. We got a big heart and an M. So the Y, the suicide thing, the big heart, and the M. Open the door. But before we do, before we go that way, I'm going to shoot through these. I'm just gonna take the damage, just, just for the fun of it. Boom! Card, card, boom, we're at 500. Oh no, we have 500 HP! But there isn't much danger in this uh, in this section just yet. 
So that was a small heart, I think. You can always double check these. Small heart, red. Just go up, press up. Small heart, red, M. Small heart, M. We got a pig face, that was, I think. From the big heart, pig face. Pig face. Oink, oink, oink. Pig face. Big heart, small heart, and the M. You can put them in any order, as long as you have the right symbols, it doesn't matter. Open door. Get out of here, my you So yeah, we shall continue in the next episode, actually. Uh, we're at 15 plus already, so I'll leave it here. And I shall see you in part two of Zillion.